glorified. When you go to church and I can't wait to see my Jesus someday and you're dancing and shocking and jiving and doing the one two step, you're not doing it for your how about shimmy outside. So why should he keep you around? It's like a woman that comes to your house, she eat up the whole fridge, shit in your toilet, watch your TV, use up all the milk, take your money, but yet she don't give you no nothing, key. man. You're not gonna keep her around. Uh, You're gonna get rid of her. Yeah, she can go. You understand? She, she's no use to you. The Lord can't do nothing with you. You've rather taken the Lord's merchandise and you've given it to the heathens, man. That's what the Lord was saying in Ezekiel. He said even prostitutes, yeah, they get paid. Our people are prostituting themselves, but they're not even getting paid. They're rather paying the people that are prostituting them. That's in the book of Ezekiel 16. <laughs> if you read from the 11th chapter all the way down, man, that's what the Lord was saying, man. He said, nah, my people are stupid, man. At least gain something from being used. God. You're not gaining anything, you know? Dude, what has these heathen nations ever done for our people, man? Nothing. They've just used and abused you. Right. And you're okay with it. And it says, And if ye be born, ye shall be born to a curse. And if ye die, a curse shall be your portion. All that are of the earth shall turn again, uh, shall turn to earth again. So, so the ungodly shall go from a curse to destruction. Well, there you go. That's what's coming. Destruction. Hey, the destruction is already here. That's right. Okay, because I got the newspaper here with me. And it ain't looking too good. About the second page, it says the virus, the 111 virus farce. And if you look in it, you've got this Edomite woman here. She thinks she's being funny. She's got a mask on. See? So it shows you the coronavirus is live and direct in England. And when you go through the paper, that's all they're talking about, coronavirus. And you even, you even have Edomites basically trying to show you how to avoid catching the coronavirus. And if you see the methods that they're suggesting, you know, like this one, you've got this uh, damn Edomite here. They think wearing a plastic costume is going to stop you. <laughs> Look at that. This is how they're saying you should avoid catching the coronavirus. By wearing a plastic costume, getting some protective bar for your trolleys, getting a face visible mask, changing the screen on your phone, and also getting a wiper for your laptop. <laughs> so this is the, this is how they, <laughs> this is how they're planning to kill. They're advertising for the uh, phone company so you can get new screens there. Yeah, 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 the right. the yeah. Hey, but this is terrible. This is how terrible oh, yeah, the Lord yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, and they're telling you to also shave your beard. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? I see what I'm saying. Oh, the nice, the yeah, nice, nice, yeah. the nice hat <laughs> thing. Yeah, the nice outside under the corona. Yeah, go on. Yeah. So what, what what's happening with this corona it's thing? Yeah. Kind of they're trying to say they're trying to say that it's orchestrated by um, Bill Gates. How they had a doomsday sort of predictions and that. But what, as we're noticing through the presets of your how about Shabbat Shalom, he brings all things. Whatever that you can say the heathens are doing, because there's a lot of conspiracies out there that are oh, it's the heathens that infiltrated this disease. But the most high infiltrates all things and I've got a, a video here. I wanna just quickly show show uh, okay, that these lot are dropping down. They're just literally just dropping down dead. Like literally just, just falling over. They never did, like even with the hurricanes and that. They were just playing, they were clowning the most high. Right. Hurricane Sandy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurricane yeah, yeah. August, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurricane Valentine, yeah. Hurricane Maria. Yes. You know, they're just playing games. It's all good though, let's play more. Right. Let's go man, let's right. see who's going to have the, la the last laugh man. Right, right, right. Can you see that bro? Yeah. They're just literally dropping down dead fam. And the first, the first person dropped down dead on the ship today or yesterday. 
coming. Oh, yes, they, yes, yeah. They, yeah. So this is the news now, man. Yeah. The coronavirus is serious. They're literally just gonna drop down dead, man. Can't. Yeah, man, because the government is not disclosing the full effects of it. Right. That's why our people are still in cuckoo land. The heathens are taking a sidestep look at them and being like, "Right, why are these people not being affected?" You know, because the, like we said, the Lord is separating His people right. from the masses, man, right. uh, via this coronavirus. Right. Go and cheat, and soon they're gonna turn against you, man. And that's when there's gonna be a bloodbath out here because yeah. he's all got his weapons ready. There you go. Uh, so keep holding hand. Keep joining hand in hand with that devil, man. He's probably even gonna blame you and say you're the reason why he's catching coronavirus. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why the law started in China, man. Right. Because the Chinese are everywhere. They're like a virus, man. Right. They spread everywhere. You go Jamaica, they're there. You go Ghana, South Africa. They're all over the place, man. Most of the things are made in China, isn't it? Everything made in China. Everything is made in China, man. Even Corona's made in China. Cheap labor. And you said earlier as well about the foods becoming like, obviously, like running out of foods and that. That's all hitting America now as well, like. Get me that. There's states in America that they're running out of resources and food and stuff like that on the shelves. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Yeah, man. That's how it goes, That's man. That's how it goes. You understand? Because if you go back to David's time, David done something very significant. Get 2 Samuel 8 and verses 2. Let's see what David did when he oh, when he conquered the Moabites. That's basically what the Lord is doing. Basically, the Lord sent out the coronavirus as a control mechanism. You know? And did you realize, I did not notice no goops before. But now this coronavirus is out, I can see them dime a dozen everywhere. Oh, God. 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 Yeah man, that's what I'm saying bro. The Lord is the Lord is using the coronavirus as a uh, pest control. A uh, by a pest right. control. <laughs> you know you know what you used to rats. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, you know when you got rats in your kitchen and you, you know you wanna drive them out. <laughs> That's what, that's what the Lord is doing out here. Uh, I mean, the, pro the problem is that no, what's going on are rejoicing. That's because right. when David had the kingdom, he done. that's the only nation that he had a control mechanism for, man. Because he knew they were contagious, bro. <laughs> you need to cage them in. You can't let them go like that. Because right. once they spread out, boy, they just go like, you know, it's like a plague. They just, ah, you know. Everywhere they go, Everywhere they, go they come with their... They, they are abominations, yeah, you know, man. Yeah. No. And they you breed know? like hamsters as well. Bro. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. They breed a lot. You know. So read that, read that. This is the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 8, verse 2. Oh, read up. Up. And he smote Moab and measured them with a line. And did what? And, and measured them with, with a line. line. So the Lord is using the coronavirus to measure the, the Moabites. Uh -huh. He's controlling them. It's uh -huh. a control mechanism. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. There's too many gooks in the world causing too much havoc. Cooking rats and dogs and all of that madness. Now, so this is what the Lord is planning, bro, with this coronavirus. Read it. And he smoked Moab and measured them with a line, casting them down to the ground. Even with two lines measured he to put to death and with one full line to keep alive. There you go. So the same thing is happening today. Huh. But in this case, it's not a, it's not a double yellow line. But it's a coronavirus. <laughs> That's what it's the corona line. line. It's because hey, in order to crash this economy, you gotta control the outflow of the of the more bikes. Yeah. Because yeah. like we said, a lot of these things are made in China, man. Uh, so if you're gonna crash the economy, the China, hey, a lot of the more bikes have to go. They get the source, yeah, the source has to be, yeah, that's why the Lord, so, so really we know what the Lord is doing, man, okay, he's trying to crash the economy, and then after that, then the chick can come in quicker, because people still need to trade, buy and sell, and, you know, so it will be easier for them to implement that, because when people are not able to get their day-to-day -day assets, you know, life, the quality of living gets reduced, they're going to take the chip. It's going to be easy for them, you know? Because a lot of times people use their mouth to say, I ain't going to take the chip. I ain't going to do this. But when the Lord puts you in that hour of temptation, what did Peter do? Well, there you go. You see, even Peter. Peter said, nah, I'm not going to die. Nah, nah. 
Right. That's why even the Lord said, I'm going to keep you from the hour of temptation. Oh, because yeah. he knows if you get put in that situation, not many people are going to say no. Oh. Okay. Because like, you know, with cash, people pass cash from person to person. They're going to right. say, oh, you know, you can pass germs that way. That's a good point. You can pass coronavirus. That's a good point. That's a good point. Hey, that's a that, that's actually a important point because if you read the newspaper, they were saying avoid hugs and kisses right. and handshakes and handshakes. God, I've seen that. Mm. But if you have your chip, your chip is your chip, you know, and you ain't even gonna have no contact. That's why they call it contactless. So they don't want you to have no contact no more because why? He might have coronavirus. So you see, the Lord is working. Everything is working perfectly, man. You know? That's why it's good to be on this side. That's right. We know what's going on. We're not confused up there. Like I said, man, this game is under control, man. We're controlling it, man. You know? And he smoked Moab and measured them with a line, casting them down to the ground. Even with two lines measured he to put to death and with one full line to keep alive. There you go. So that's what's happening now. The Lord is smiting Moab, okay, with coronavirus on one side, coronavirus on the other side. Whoever falls behind the line is dying. Come. Yeah, yeah. Ezekiel 33, 32. Bring it up. And lo. Thou art unto them as a lovely song for one that have a pleasant voice and can play well and on an instrument for they hear thy words but they do them not and when this come to pass lo it will come they hear that it says and when this comes to pass hey it will come to pass. So you, you, yeah, because you know a lot of times they get carried away thinking, ah, oh, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Especially these Edomites, man. They laugh sometimes. They're like, ah, oh, whatever. Keep talking, mate. Yeah. I'll have me another pint. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the Lord is like, lo, it will come to pass. Right. You can bet your last beer on it. Right. Your last Budweiser. That's right. Three. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Yeah, that's when they're gonna know that the men of the Lord were here. Ah. Right. Because like we said, they know us, they see us, they feel us. Okay? They see the word of the Lord coming out. If this ain't the word of the Lord, then what is? Ah. It can't be what's in the church. Because ah. that is prophetic, man. Right? Okay? That, 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 if you wanna, if, if you have sleeping problems, go to the church, man. Oh. Yeah. I remember, right. yeah, right. yeah, if you can't, if you have sleeping problems and you got to take pills to help you sleep, go to the church, man, and see if you don't fall asleep, man. Right. From all that garbage that the pastor's teaching right. you. Right. Right. And the most times I don't know the pastors because it's killing them one by one. Right. It's in front of their Gino congregations. Jerry. That's true. Yeah. It's killing them, man. Gino He's killing yeah. them, bro. He's killing them, man. You, you see, remember that when he killed, he killed them on holiday with his children in the swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He drowned yeah, yeah, yeah. the swimming pool. He's drowned the swimming pool. Hey, and what about that one that died in front of the congregation after dancing? He did a, he did a dance. And he ran around chair and sat down. <laughs> Most of the time, away. Dropped him dead, man. There was one actually dancing and he dropped dead for one of us. He's killing pastors, man. Because you're liars and you're wicked and you're sitting in your people's heads. That's right, right? Yeah, because the Lord is tired of your, 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 All of your, you. your folly. Huh. Okay. That's why he's doing that. You know, and these people, they don't know any better. They're like sheep led to the slaughter. Huh. Uh, they'll follow anything, man. It's the pastors who know better, but they're being wicked. Huh. As long as they got a big congregation, they're okay. That's right. They don't care about the well-being of the Israelite man and woman. Uh, they just want to get rich quick. It's a get rich quick scheme. That's all it is. Yeah? That's why the main thing is to pay your tithing and offering. Right. So if you want to get blessed, you have to pay your tithing and offering. That's what they're going to tell you. So what about the, the woman that had the last penny? All she oh, had yeah. was a penny, but was you had a lot of people that gave more money than her, man. That's right. That's right. Yeah? So it's not all about money. The most I don't need your money. It's his. What's he gonna do with your money? Uh, <laughs> Pastor, you know, Jeremiah, 
like to use a scripture in the church, like that lady would last two, two penny and she right. still give it. That's right. one of the best scriptures in the church. Yeah. So that's telling the others in the church, like, look, she did have about two last penny and she gave it. So they're scraping what they have to give the pastor. You know? Sometimes they even go take a loan out just so they can please their pastor. Uh, because they have so much belief that this guy is a man of the Lord. They could swear to Aunt Jemima that he's got the Holy Spirit on him. But when you ask him to break down John 3.16, he's going to be all over the place, man. Well, uh, uh, so them do want to take long, you know. Mm. Go even further. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, strippers, man. Because a lot of strippers, after they go to the strip club, they take that strip club money to the church. Mm. And they'll, they'll ask the pastor for a blessing so they can tour on Saturday. More power, isn't it? Right. Yeah. So she can get some more spiritual power. Maybe I'll borrow money for the back. Maybe I'll borrow money for the back. Maybe I'll borrow money for the back. Because the pastors, they don't care where the money's coming from. Uh, as long as you're paying the money, they're okay with it. Uh, you understand? That's just how it goes, man. This is uh, Jeremiah 23 and 1. Bring it up! It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. That's so right. explanatory. So right. the Lord right. is coming to get you. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Fuck you, so if you put yourself in a position to mislead the, the masses, hey, whether it, this applies to the imams in the mosque as well. That's right. That's right. You're a quote unquote pastor That's as well. Right. 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 Basically, basically, this applies to all the religious leaders, man. Yeah. That's right. Whether you're in Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Bring all up. of you, the guys at the top. You know, they like to wear your fancy garments. Right. And you like the high seat. The Lord is coming to get you, man. Alright. Woe unto you. Read. Verse 2. Therefore thus saith Yahweh of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock. Yeah, because you got them in all different denominations. Right. You know, and sometimes they even go, because all of them, they belong to the same Masonic Lodge. So they have their special meetings and they laugh about you. They're like, oh, I'm going to make my members buy me a jet next year. Right. I'm, I'm going to make my members buy me a house next year. You know? Because they have a special consortium where they meet, man. All of them. T.D. Jakes, Creflo, all of them. It's like a big boys club, basically, of pastors. You don't want to buy from. You know? And they go there and they perform all kind of rituals, man. And then after they come to the pulpit, they know they're wicked. But you know, when they say, praise the Lord, everybody yeah. says, hallelujah. It warms them. They, they feel good about themselves. They're like, oh man, I can't repent, man. One more year, one more year, then I retire. Next year, one more year, one more year. Before you know it, 20 years. I just want to say, when it adds something to that as well. That's how you notice that all the religious leaders, the Islam, Christianity, they all shake hands. They all, you know, they all have peace with each other. Right. It's the congregations they're fighting. Right. Ever right. wonder that? Ever wonder why? The leaders are together, shaking hands, whatever, at peace with each other. But the congregation, like the congregation are fighting. Yeah. Are fighting. And it's true because remember when that uh, London disaster thing happened, and then all the religious leaders came together. There you go. What was that all about? Right. right. You had the Islam people. Uh, you had the Catholic people. The Pentecostal, all, all of Jew the Jew rats, all of them came together and they were holding hands. They said we have to unite against hatred and all of that madness. We're all one. The hypocrisy of that man. And driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, yeah, saith because, Yahweh. Yeah, because now the Lord has had enough, man. Huh. That's why he gave, he, hey, rumor has it that the Pope has coronavirus now. Oh, yeah. uh, so, uh, oh, that's that. your part. To water, yeah. to water, to water. To water. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a don't want him to die, though. No, no, that, 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 don't die, don't die. We need you, we need you. We need you. We still got use for you. Don't die, don't die, please. Yeah, let me make a point. Yeah, don't die, don't die, please don't die, man. You know, we need, we need you, man. You're a rare Pokemon, man. Shiny, shiny, shiny. 
you know, you know when you're playing, yeah? And then the Pokemon's life bar is at the end and you don't know, stop with yeah, 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 yeah. it. Cool <laughs> and then you give, and then you give him an antidote to beast his last yeah, 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 yeah. yeah man, we'll, we'll pray for the Pope, man, you know. That <laughs> most that keeps him alive. Yeah, because we got dogs for him. That's that's right. Right. You, can't, you can't just go out like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, get all that wickedness that he's done. Yeah, get all that easy. Can't, can't. You know, the Lord being merciful. He's gonna keep him alive right. just enough to see the missiles, that's man. Right. That's, right. That's, right. that's right. And even after that, when you get turned to dust, in uh, Genesis 2 and 7, and the Lord formed man from the, the dust, dust of the ground, you're gonna be formed again, and you're gonna come back. Come. Yeah, that's right, bro. Come. And then you receive your spirit and go come. back on the plantation. Receive his righteous spirit. be like, yeah, that's Pope Francis there. Give him, give him some more lashes. That's right. Uh, right. And they're still up Benedict in his earth. Yeah, Benedict is on. You know, Benedict is on 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 the on the bench right now. He's on the reserve team, but he's still part of the elite club. Because you see, all of you elites, you're all in the same club, huh? Yeah. You're all in the same club, whether you're on the bench or whether you're playing on the field. Whether you're in goal, whether you're the manager, you're all in the same club, man. So you all gonna win that championship of slavery. That's right. The trophy's waiting for you, man. That's right. Claim it all. So keep playing. You're doing well. Keep being wicked, man. You're actually on top of the leaderboard. That's right. Uh. You're winning. Uh, you're winning by a landslide, man. You know. When it comes to the Heathens Championship League table, you're on top of the list. That's right. So you, you, you're going to win the trophy by default. Right. They're like the, uh, the Real Madrid of the 90s, man. Because <laughs> no one is touching you right now when it comes to wickedness. Right. So that medal of honor is going to go to you. And we're going to do you the honors, man. That's right. You know? That's right. Yeah, that. continuing in chapter three, um, ch uh, 23 of Jeremiah, but uh, skip it to 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you, they, they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart. Yeah, you know, like pastors always have a dream of this and a dream of that. Right, it's right. all nonsense. Right. 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 They're not prophesying the downfall of this kingdom. They're right. talking about right. this, place, this place being prolonged. That's right. Success coming to England. What, what success will ever come out of this dry, this dry land? The only time this place is going to be successful it's when the Edomites get weeded out from their underground bunkers and they get put on the plantation. Man. Ah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Because they have no talent anyway. None. They don't know how to cultivate the land. Nope. The earth is at its lowest that it has right. ever been right. since they came in authority. Yeah. The world is upside down right now because of bad leadership. Okay. Falsifying the balances by deceit. That's right. That's, that's what's right. going on in Babylon, man. That's right. Our right. gates language, man. And the leaders are in cahoots with them. Huh. So even worse, the people are languished, man. Look at them. They're, they're, if you see their faces, they're not happy. That's right. <laughs> they just get from, they live, they get from day to day. That's right. That's why a lot of our people are highly intoxicated with either alcohol or drugs. Right. Uh, Drowning their sorrow. Because they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to drown their sorrows away. That's right. You know, that's why every time you see Northern Kingdom, they're always drinking on the park benches, man. And then after they go do a long ass night shift. Mm. Yeah. That's not living. Where is your sense of dignity, man? It's like a captain. It's always mentioned by the uh, uh, pastors as well. They don't even teach you knowledge of self. That's a, that's a clear indication that they're Come with on. the enemy. Come on. They, don't, they, they don't teach you. They don't teach you knowledge of self. They tell you that you're a heathen. They tell you that you're, what's you're, they a, tell you you're a gentile. That shows you that they're against you. You know what I'm saying? Your own people, they don't even tell you the truth out the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They're actually with the enemy and doing the enemy's work. That's right. Uh, yeah, and they're Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Just they speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of Yahweh. That's right. Oh. Uh, uh, wow. So like it says, when they dream about some folly, when Satan gives them a dream about some folly, that's when they come out and they prophesy unto you lies. Right. Because don't forget, it happened in Kings, man. Okay? When the Lord sent the demons to go and lie to the men of the Lord, give them a false vision to prophesy. So that's what's happening to these guys in the church. They think the Lord is with them, but He's not. He's not. And He's going to show it. That's right. They're going to see it. Then they'll know. That's right. That's not the truth. 
This is Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Bring it up! For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. For the what? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. knowledge. And they should seek the law at his mouth. And they should what? And they should seek the law at his mouth. Like all these bald headed pastors, where the <laughs> hell is your horseshoe, man? Right. <laughs> you know, because you, you know when the, you know when you're bald headed, you got the horseshoe going around. Yeah, yeah, can't. Let the horseshoe grow. Right. But like, ah, I can't let the horseshoe grow. I've got to shave it off. Apostle Paul had a horseshoe. Yeah. And uh, what was his name? Uh, Elisha had a horseshoe. And the, the children were laughing at him. Yes, and then he had them. to cast them, didn't he? <laughs> and the she bears came and ripped them up. God. You understand? <laughs> you pastors, man. You know, you're bald headed, no beard on the face. Even if they do, they line it up. Right. And no one questions them about it. Because, oh, that's the pastor. You know, you can't say nothing to him. Because mm. you might get in, you might get held out by the ushers. Because oh. you know they always have some Sambo coons following behind them when they come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, give way for the king. <laughs> <laughs> he comes in like he's, he, 